Welcome to Crash Cars, everyone. If you're new to the channel, my name is Harrison Woodruff, and today we were reviewing this 2017 fully custom-built Jeep Wrangler. Now, guys, oh, crap. Don't worry, I'm good. Just ended up having a piece of my gimbal in my pocket. That didn't hurt at all. Anywho, today we got with us a 2017 fully custom-built Jeep Wrangler. Now, this truck, Jeep, whatever you want to call it, was built for Earth Motor Cars, and that's who's letting me review it today. So thank you guys very much. And if anybody's interested, there's a link down below. So go check this thing out because it is sick. And I mean, you're about to check it out anyway because you're watching a video about it. So what are we gonna do with this gorgeous Wrangler? Well, we're gonna review it. What's a Crash Cars review? It's an exterior review, interior review, start up and drive. Now, <laughs> obviously this is not gonna be a conventional review because it is custom. So we're gonna talk about what they did to complete this build, the suspension, the engine. The engine is insane, you guys, and this interior. Obviously the exterior as well. So let's jump on in and talk about this gorgeous, gorgeous paint job. This paint job is one of the coolest I've ever seen. Obviously you see it a ton on Jeeps. What it is is actually a Kevlar paint job. It's not what you would normally expect. It's not bed liner. It's actually literally Kevlar paint. Now. Why am I this close? Because I feel like it. I like you guys. I want you to come and like be close to me, please. Just come right here with me. So guys, from the 12,000 pound load, compatible, accessible, usable, up to 12,000 pound winch, to the various light bars and light cubes all over the place, to the aftermarket bumper, to the six inch to nine inch fender flares, to the aftermarket wheels <laughs> and even the ranchero aftermarket mesh doors this jeep has it all for what it's got i think it looks gorgeous and even including this hood now don't worry we're gonna pop that hood and talk about what's there first i want to go up underneath the car and talk about the suspension but with all these aftermarkets you guys are probably like well dang this thing is insane you're right, it is. Go check it out. It's at earthmotorcars.com. Anywho, <laughs> onto the review, under the car, under the Jeep. I'm so sorry, under, under the Jeep. As you can see, the clearance on this Jeep is enormous. It measures out to completely a foot and a half, which is insanity. And not to add, well, actually to add, check out how big these springs are. That is ridiculous. Huge. And then as a gorgeous add on to that, this Jeep even has Fox 2.0 racing suspension. So not only you have the ground clearance and sway to clear rocks to go rock crawling and to make it in those weird articulate motions, but you can also go through the desert blast those sand dunes, jump, whatever you want to do, thanks to that Fox racing suspension, and haul down the road with what else is underneath this hood. And, huh, sorry, it was a workout to get under here. Out of breath, crawled four inches and dying. So anyway, <laughs> we're, we're gonna now go ahead and talk about what else is underneath this hood, which is in between the springs and shocks. That would be the engine. And this thing is a monster. So I guess I will see you guys at the engine. See you there. Ah. Here we are. I hope you guys are happy because this is insanity. A freaking Dodge Hemi in a Jeep Wrangler. Who would have thunk it, right? Now, what this is, it is a 6.4 liter Dodge Charger in crate engine. So what it is, is basically it's a Dodge Charger engine that was in a crate and they just plopped it right in, right? Obviously they made a couple changes, made it fit and voila. Now let's get down to some stats. Like I said, it is a 6.4 liter V8 that produces 500 horsepower and 485 freaking foot pounds of torque. That is insanity for this Jeep. Now, something even cooler is these lights, 
magic, right? Who, who, who the heck did that? I don't know. Maybe it was editing. It wasn't editing. I'm just, I'm just magic. Anyway, these lights seriously are red. And at night, they let a glow out through the air vents of the hood. So not only does this Jeep look mean in general, but crank on those red LED lights when it's nighttime and you're rolling down the road and you look like a freaking monster coming at you, just like a, like a demon, like her. And I mean, you have a Hemi underneath, so you sound like a demon when you're flying down the road. Now, not only does this, you know, Hemi give you all that horsepower and torque, but it also gives you the ability to still have all wheel drive. I'm sorry, rear, uh, I can't speak. It's just mind blowing. Four wheel drive. It still allows you to use this front diff. It still allows you to use this front suspension. I mean, yeah, obviously you're gonna use it going down the road, but it still gives you the ability to go off road and four wheel drive and have a blast out in the woods or in the desert, wherever you wanna take this Jeep, cause it'll go. It just, you know, it, it, it doesn't have a snorkel. It, it, it needs a snorkel, it needs a snorkel. So Earth Motor Cars, maybe put a snorkel on this, who knows? Anyway. Now I've talked about everything outside. I've crawled on the ground. I don't know why I did that. Don't know why I did that. Anyway, let's hop inside and talk about this ridiculous interior. As you climb into this thing, and I mean, it's truly climbing in for anybody kind of shorter than me. I'm 6'3", so it's like a step for me. But first impressions, <laughs> it's insane. I mean, a Jeep with quilted leather seats, not to mention dual tone leather seats, not to mention with red piping, that's insanity. And a Jeep without doors, what? You'd expect this thing rolling down Rodeo Drive with like a billionaire driving it. But no, you could, I could, and it's comfortable. It's super comfortable. Now, I have to be honest, I, I'm not a fan the way Ford, Jeep, I don't know why I was thinking Ford. I don't know why Jeep does this. And the way it makes me feel is this. I feel like I am sitting right here in the dash and Everything is just right here so close to me when like even though I'm like way back here I don't know why it just makes me feel very claustrophobic the way they have everything so like set Kind of just like flat. I don't know if it's because it's flat Or what I don't know and I've talked to a couple other people and they're like yeah I just feel like the Jeep is just the whole dash is just right in my face Don't know why I just feel like that and I agree with them, but Let's talk about it. Let's, let's, what's, what's inside of this Jeep Wrangler? Well, first off, we got a leather steering wheel and you got your cruise control on the right and you got your Bluetooth phone and stuff like that on the left. And then right here, as you can see, possibly, I'm not sure, but I think you guys can see right there is the Bluetooth mic for hands-free communications, which is awesome. And then for the center, the infotainment system, then when they were doing the custom build, they actually put an Alpine audio system and infotainment system in instead of the Jeep one. The Jeep one, there's not much to it. It's literally like a radio and then like a map. And then it tells you what song you're playing and that's about it. Oh yeah, and there's like a, a little digital clock. That's it. On the Alpine, you got so much stuff. It's really cool and obviously the sound system is insanity. Then down here, you got your AC. It's very simple, it's just turn knob and it tells you the temperature it's analog and then the blower right there recirc 
Then you got your caution lights, your electricity, your seat heaters. Seat heaters in a Jeep Wrangler. This stuff is like, what I'm, I'm just like spitting out things that are like unheard of in Jeep Wranglers. This thing is insane. Like it's insane. Anywho, then you got your shifter right here, your four wheel drive and your brake. What else is there to talk about, about, you know? I mean, it's a Jeep. Storage, there's nothing. Comfort, this one is insanely comfortable. Normal Jeeps are insanely comfortable. How are they to drive? How is this thing with a V8 in the front to drive with that exhaust? <laughs> Let's find out right after this startup. Jeep, dear God save me. This thing is insane to drive. From that exhaust, to the acceleration, to, yeah, blind spots everywhere with that monster tire back there, but that's whatever. You're in a Jeep, you're just having fun. It's what it's made to be for. I lost my words. It's just to have straight up fun and do whatever you want to in it. Yeah, you got wind blowing by you. Yeah, you got an engine that is a monster in front of you. And yeah, you got an insane exhaust and a couple rattles here and there. That's the doors, they're a little loose, it's okay. They're easy, it's easy. It's just, they're a little loose. It's okay. Nothing's wrong at all. It's just a little loose. It doesn't matter at all because it's a Jeep. It is insane, it is awesome. This thing with the Fox racing suspension, and those monster, monster springs, you'd expect to ride like a absolutely stiff supercar, just hammering you all the time. But no, it honestly rides really comfortable. And yeah, that is a part to the really, really nice seats, but that doesn't matter. You're in a Jeep, you're in a monster Jeep. It is really, really freaking scary for people to watch. Now, I'll stop blabbering on and go over some honest things. Like I said, blind spots with that huge monster tire, obviously it takes up the back window, so there you go with that. But then again, your entire sides are wide open, so you can see all over the place on the sides, so blind spots there are gone. Acceleration, you saw in the beginning, is insanity. It's fast as crap for a Jeep. Road noise, we're not gonna talk about that because obviously you can hear it. And then exhaust, it sounds killer, absolutely killer. Steering, you'd expect a big Jeep with monster tires to have willy-nilly all over the place steering with huge play in the steering wheel, you got zero. Very, very pin sharp for what it is, steering. It's awesome, like awesome, awesome. Now. Body roll in a Jeep this size, you would expect to also be a big concern, but it's not. Like we were going through some S turns right there and there was absolutely nothing going on with the Jeep. It wasn't body rolling, it wasn't getting uncomfortable or scary. It was just like, I am big, I am strong, I am scary. I take the turn on and I defeat it. It's like, okay then, we'll go faster. Or obey the speed limits, because we obey speed limits, you know keep it below the speed limit. But I mean, this thing is a freaking beast and it is awesome. There is seriously nothing wrong with this thing other than, you know, the back blind spot, which you can fix with a camera in the, in the rear view mirror. Earth motor cars, maybe, maybe put a camera, maybe put a camera right there. That would be, that'd be a sick add on. Think about that guys. So much charisma, so much charisma, and I beat my 
paints a little, that was a little scary. Because, I mean, you're in the wide open and you have a monster V8 right in front of you doing things that you wouldn't expect a monster V8 to do in a Jeep. You'd expect a monster V8 in a Jeep to just have a wrap ton of torque and no horsepower. So you can do rock crawling, you can do all that kind of stuff and go off-roading slowly. But no, this one is just like, screw it, I'm a wallop you with 500 horsepower and do whatever the heck you want with me. Like, let's just go and have a ton of fun. And that is an absolute ride way to have a Jeep Wrangler, in my opinion. want to give this thing back to earth this thing is insane absolutely insane like guys i hope you and guys and gals whoever's watching this i hope you enjoyed this review as much as i did oh yeah quick check out the crash cars mobile gorgeous right anywho everybody ladies and gentlemen whoever you are thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this like always Hit that big old red subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Turn on that notification bell. <laughs> Thank you guys. See you next time. Crash cars out. All right, guys. You heard me mention Earth Motor Cars a ton in the video. Well, I want to give them a huge special thanks for letting me take out their custom Jeep Wrangler. This thing is awesome. If anybody's interested, I have a link in the description of this video. Thank you, Earth Motor Cars, for letting me take out your Jeep Wrangler.